Lee Ross Show highlights. We enter the third quarter now with Georgia in control right now. Well, Georgia started the, the second half with the football, and we really emphasized to our defense to be very tough to start with, and we were. We played an exceptional series. First one was a real good stick there by Williams and Mathis on Ware, and then Sean Smith, who I thought played very well, batted the pass down, and they were forced to punt. And we came right out, and here's Sean uh, just uh, putting on 100 moves and uh, on a little quarterback draw, uh, picking up 24 yards. And this was a big third and eight here, Coach. It was. Uh, we were really tough on the third down conversions. Uh, I think we were 10 of 15 for the game, Art, and that was very good. And, Defensively, we held them to two of 11, so it was an exceptional day for us on third down, and that was a big thing of it. Uh, there's Jerry on, a, on another third down, picking up four yards and getting the first, and, and then here we go in for the score, and uh, it was uh, Jerry's first of two touchdowns, and, and uh, we're up now. We moved 69 yards in 13 plays, and we lead now 20 to 14. Uh, they come back, and, and uh, Tally, uh, a great play there by Eric Thomas, forcing the fumble, but the Georgia uh, effort and uh, Max Strong uh, uh, comes back and recovers the football. But then uh, on another key third down, here we are, and a great uh, pressure there by Sean Smith. I mean, he just really laid himself out and then got off the block and made the tackle. And he did, and then Jarrell Williams came in and, and made the play, and, and it was just a tremendous play on the part of those two players. Uh, now we're moving the ball again, and you can see Jerry is really in, in fashion now. I mean, he's cutting and slashing and, and doing everything, and we're still mixing it in there with Stephen, who played a very fine football game. Stephen really uh, accepted the challenge uh, that uh, we had issued him this week. We thought he really had to respond well and had to have a good game, and he did. And, and uh, uh, you know, he played very well as a runner and as a blocker. He did just about everything. Uh, our drive here, however, we nullified, and we were forced to punt. We pick up the action with Tally completing one to Hummins for 20. And now he goes deep downfield, and Kenny Wilson, I think, uh, are one of our unsung heroes in our football success this year. He's a senior, and he is one of the really true class young individuals in college football. And he went in and uh, made a fine play there, and he's just doing a super job in every aspect of his life. And, I was really happy to see him have that type of success. Good pressure by the defense. Uh, again, it was uh, this was uh, the one of three sacks that we had, and Willie Burks and Marco Coleman and Jeff Mathis are all in on the play, and uh, then on a, a recovery up the up in the inside, they fumble and uh, force the punt, and now we start with the ball and on our 22-yard uh, line, and Jerry picks up a 12 for a first down, and. Uh, we're going to just start to give him the football now. I tell you, it's just not going to be anything fancy. And uh, he goes for seven more. Uh, but then uh, Georgia gets an interception and gets right back there, gets the ball right back. Uh, they go to a little screen pass to, to uh, Brian Cleveland. They're, they're fine back. Uh, Here's the one you want to see over and over again right here. Well, this is, <laughs> this is a thrill for Willie, and it's a two-teamer because Sean's the one that batted it, and uh, Willie looked like a fullback there. And, yeah, last time he played fullback uh, was in middle school, and flashed back a little bit there. He looked like a mule or the plow there. I, you know, I don't want to make that sound bad, but he, I mean, that's exactly, but he, he played very hard, and, and our offense was able to capitalize on it, and Stephen didn't what he's supposed to do went to the flag with the ball and T.J. Edwards made a very fine block on that play and T.J. was the first to greet him in the end zone. You mentioned that Stefan did a little bit of everything in this game. He also made academic All-American that week. Well, you know, that, that's another fine thing. You know, Stefan's about a 3-6 in the electrical engineering program, Art. Right? Not many people know that, but he is an outstanding student. Uh, I knew it was our day then. The ball was tipped and it hit T.J. and he picked up good yardage and uh, now we get T.J. carrying the ball, and he picks up seven for, uh, we've got a first and 19. We had another penalty here, and uh, but Jerry goes for 13 and uh, uh, picks up good yardage here. And I think this is a run that put him over the 200-yard mark and, and, uh, uh, for the day, and it was a very fine, fine game. And, and then, this pass reception makes him the all-time leading pass receiver in tech history. Well, he passed uh, Robert Levette. I think uh, Jerry ends up with 115, and Robert had 114 for the career, all right, and uh, just an outstanding day for him, just an outstanding day. Scott Sisson made the extra point. Uh, he set the record for points by a kicker and tied the record for the most field goals in the season. Love to see that. The young freshman outside linebacker, Coleman Rudolph, who's going to be a good football player, and uh, here they go to the corner with, for their last.
we fumbled the punt, and uh, we went for a touchdown after that, or Georgia went for the touchdown after that. But uh, uh, it was a great, great win for us, and I got myself a dou dousing there. Right there. It was cold, too, because <laughs> it wasn't warm. That sun wasn't out at that time, but it was a great way to win.